What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. So last time we left off, we were uh, we were put on a mission to head towards Meteor Falls. So that is what we Oh, Swablers! Oh my god, I want it. I'm gonna chase it. Come back here, you bastard. Alright, lame. So I actually earlier off screen went over this way for some reason and I clicked on this and there was a there was a revive there, so that's 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 cool. There was a little hidden item there, so alright, let's continue back down this way and uh see where we're going. I think actually this is... Oh, what the hell is that? The well, well, hello there, Mr. Pokemon. We shall see what you are. What are you going to be? Oh, it's a Zangus. Level 19. Not bad. I'm gonna run into it. Just to see this, homie. So I remember this route having Swablu, Zangus, Saviper, stuff like that. So this thing is pretty sweet. Zangus is an awesome Pokemon. Level 19 as well. Should I kill this thing? Should yeah yeah no no fuck it fuck it oh I couldn't get away from it no Cornelius you're too slow all right got the statics so now you shouldn't be too damn slow so all right what the fuck why can't I run from this damn thing all right Cornelius Jesus took you long enough all right so this is the house of that one lady that was like the Pokemon at the Pokemon Center and stuff. I'm gathering berries so I can win a Pokemon contest. So this guy's gonna give us a raspberry. Thanks, man. I have a fuck ton of those already, but I appreciate the kind gesture. Oh, Hayden. I'm very sorry. Everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret in exchange for this. And she gives us a C dot doll. Th thanks. You think I'm gonna tell your secret to everybody? Useless ass C dot doll. Shit. The fuck you think I am? So, all right, we can uh. We can go grab those berries if we really want to go through all that grass, so I ain't gonna play that. I don't fuck around with that noise. Let's see who's in front here. We got a nice little double battle coming up, so I'm going to put... You know what? I'll go ahead and... I'm just gonna put Pinhead and Cornelius in front. Hope for the best. Don't damn me. Who taught you how to battle? Alright, it's Tyron Ivy. Got a Roselia and an Azumarill. Pretty nice little duo you got there. I haven't seen him in an Azumarill yet, so that's cool. Alright, let's do this, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and intimidate both of them. Perfect. Perfect. Having a Pokemon with Intimidate definitely comes in handy. So, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and spark the Azumarill. I'll go ahead and Air Cutter the Rosel. Oh, fuck, I accidentally clicked Azumarill. What? Oh, I actually, no, never mind. Air Cutter hip hits both of them. Well, shit! That is awesome. Air Cutter is like the best freaking doubles move ever. And I got the Paralyze on the Azumarill. I get so many Paralyzes. Like, Spark is like a second Thunder Wave. Holy shit. And wow, that did a lot of damage. Now this Aqua Tail is going to land on Pinhead, thankfully. And that's gonna do, not going to do a damn thing. So, one more Spark and one more Air Cutter. And then we can uh, call it a victory on this double battle. Oh, wait, okay, wait, wait. As long as I go first. No, I will, because he's Paralyzed. This Azumarill has some HP, man. Jesus. Pinhead grew to level 28. We're going to go ahead and spark the Azumarill. And that is a dead-ass little bunny rabbit. Sorry about that, little guy. Got a bunch of experience. We have defeated Terran Ivy. What an amazing way of battling. Why do you guys say the same thing? I know you're twins and all, but that's just creepy. Alright, so... We can continue this way. Ooh, and we found another one of these things. Let's see what it is. Hit that bottom screen. It's a Surskit level 19. Ain't nobody got time for that. Surskits are all over the place with that secret finder thingy. Dex nav type of deal. Oh, we found a Swablu. Nice. What is going on, Swablu? Level 16, I'm going to run from you. I probably can. Okay, I was going to say, probably can't escape. I was thinking about using a Swablu, but I don't, think, I don't think I'm going to, honestly. And then pretty soon here... I'm probably going to consider switching out Matang for something else that we caught. Maybe that Machop. But for now, we're going to keep on using Matang. Just because he, he's helpful. What's going on, guy? Oof, 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 oof. Want to battle against my Pokemon? Yeah, what else would I battle against, bro? So this is that weird Pokemaniac guy that has, like, the Charizard legs or whatever the hell those are. And he has one Aeron. A Aeron, what is going on? So Electric is not really going to have too good of a time against this thing. So, you know who this is a job for? Wait, oh, yeah, probably Pinhead. Probably Pinhead. Level, level 23 ass little iron fucker. 
What, le what level does Aaron even evolve? I think it's like... I'm not even sure, but this should be a freaking Laron by now. Probably not, actually, but... Anyways, I'm gonna give this guy a bubble beam not to the face. Oh my god, and it has dirty. Of course. Now it's gonna hit me with a rock tomb. That's gonna do some damage, for sure. Holy shit, and it's gonna lower my speed. That's a bummer. Ugly is still outspeed it, so can get a bubble beam off. That is a great success against that thing. Very nice, very nice. We've defeated Pokemaniac Steve, my, my Pokemon. Sorry, bro. It's what you get for only having one little tiny ass Pokemon. So we shall continue up this way. Oh, there's a rock to smash. I'm gonna do it. Wait, oh, there, okay, there we go. I'm gonna smash this rock because I see a Pokeball over there on that ledge. Might as well see what that is. Oh, when we ran into a Geodude, I think. Oh, shit. Found, found a Geodude in a rock. Sorry, bro, I accidentally just tried to smash you. You looked like a rock. My apologies. I'm gonna run from you, though, because you're only level 15. And ain't nobody got time for that. So, okay, what is this item? Better be something useful. I had to fight a damn Geodude to get over here. It's a protein, so that's actually not too bad. I'll take it. Let me go ahead and wheelie my way over this way. And, oh, shit, it's May. You guys are... What are you taking, the professor? Hey, wait up. What the hell? What's going on here? What's up, little guy? Camping's fun. You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell spooky stories. Really? Camping is a pretty chill time. If I was in a Pokemon world, I'd probably be a camper. Just kidding. I'd be like an ace trainer or some shit. <laughs> so this guy's got this little blue Pikachu fuck, little Minon. So screw that thing. I'm going into... I'm actually let Little Root do it. We're almost going to be level 30. Jesus. I remember when Little Root was just a little baby five gecko guy. Now he's a fucking monster. So this thing's going to go for the switcheroo. He's probably going to give me an orange berry like that one did that one time. Nope, nope. Stole my expert belt. Didn't even see what it gave me. Damn it, I totally blew it. Anyways, the expert belt wouldn't have really mattered on this. Leaf Blade is going to kill it in one hit. Ha! Ah, you suck. Cornelius, Cornelius grew to level 25. Not bad. Next is a Volbeat. So we definitely are going to switch. Let's go into Pinhead. Give this thing a nice little air cutter. Pinhead and, uh, and Little Root are two OG guys. They're just fucking just beasting it right now. We'll go ahead and intimidate this thing. I'll give it a nice little, little air cutter. Let's see how you like that. You weird little bumblebee thing. Ha! Great success. So, that thing is defeated. Got a whole bunch of experience. Camper Shane, you suck. Stick to camping, bro. And alright, this is a neat this is a neat little crater. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. There's, oh my god, there's a huge one. Jesus, and there's also some rocks to smash to get to that secret base right there. That's pretty cool. Gonna go ahead and scoop this item real quick. It's an energy powder. Very nice, very nice. So let's see here. We got a we got a little we got a Kindler kind of guy that's gonna be like a, a fire dude. Maybe is that what, is that what you are? If you're lighting a campfire or setting off fireworks, make sure you have the water handy. It's good advice from in-game Pokemon people. Kindler Bernie has a Slugma. Very nice, very nice. Respectable. Let's see. What should I do about this slug mud? It's level 20. You know what? Should I just should I just stay in and spark it? It probably has flame body though, and I don't want to activate that shit. That's gonna be a bummer. It is a clean two-hit KO though. Clear smog. Ouch! And my stat chains are removed. Oh no! <laughs> One more spark is gonna kill this pile of lava. Good game, Slugma. Good game. Next is a Wingle. Perfect. This guy has a... Oh, that's pretty funny. He was talking about building a fire and then having water handy. He has a fire Pokemon and then a water Pokemon, so that's pretty clever. Pretty clever. If I was a Kindler, I would definitely have a water Pokemon around. Because you never know, you know? Fires can just happen. Fucking spread like damn wildfire. So, one spark is going to give that thing some death. Thanks for dousing my fire, I guess. Hey, you're welcome, guy. So, we shall continue on. Where the hell is this Meteor Falls place? And what is this? Random rocks? Any items on you? Nope, no item there. Okay, whatever. So, we'll go down this way. And there is a hiker guy. What's going on, hiker? If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Why, of course. You're totally right. 
This guy's got two Pokemon. It's not going to be good for Electric whatsoever. What's going on, Geodude? Let's see here. Cornelius, you're going to have to switch to Hell Out. Level 22, Geodude. Hopefully, it doesn't go for a rock move right now. That would be kind of a bummer. Masquerade would not enjoy that. We're going to get an Intimidate off on it at least. And it's going to go. Oh, okay. Worst case scenario. Goes for the rock throw. Pinhead is going to die. That was stupid. I admit it. So now, looks like Little Root's going to have to do it. Damn it. Sorry about that, Masquerade. I, that was my fault. I done fucked up right there. Hopefully, the signal snaps sturdy. Don't have sturdy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Got a nice little amount of experience. Next is another Geodude. You know what? We're just going to stay in. Let Little Root do his thing. One more Mega Drain. Don't have sturdy. Come on. Yeah, yeah of course it does. There's always at least one Geodude on these guys' teams that have <laughs> that have sturdy. It's going to go for the Smackdown. Now I'm going to Mega Drain your last HP away. <laughs> I just ate this thing's health. Delicious. So that Geodude faints. See you later. Little Root got some experience. A hiker Luka was defeated. Mountains are unforgiving. Oh, are they? So let's go ahead and let's go. Let's revive my Masquerade. Might be a good idea. I only have two revives left. Remind me to go to the Poke Center pretty soon. Or the, not Poke Center. Poke Mart. Jesus. Gotta go to the Mart pretty soon. I'm also running out of super potions as well. Pinhead's looking nice and healthy now, though, so we're all good. And we shall continue on. Over this way, there's a huge ass crater. I mean, why, why is there a random rock right here? I'm gonna smash it, see if anything comes out of it. <laughs> and nothing. That was anticlimactic, okay. So we got one more hiker dude, it looks like, before we get to the entrance of the Meteor Falls. So freaking just get out of my way, hiker guy. You have one Pokemon, and it's a Machop, so that's actually perfect for Electric. You can actually kill this thing. Would have had trouble with your Geodude if you had one. So level 23 Machop. Not too bad. Not too bad, Hiker. I see you putting in work. And I get the Paralyze, like I always do. Hopefully this thing doesn't have guts. And okay, that did a dick load of damage. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, let's use a Super Potion. Screw it. Cornelius, you need some experience. We need to evolve your ass. He doesn't get paralyzed again and hits me with a low sweep. Fuck, that did over half, and now it's lowering my speed so much. You know what? Shit. I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try to spark again. Screw it. Get paralyzed, bitch. Get paralyzed. Wow! Can a homeboy get a full paralysis around here? Lived it with 3 HP, though. That is perfect. And you know what? Screw this noise. I'm just gonna switch into Steven. Damn it, Cornelius. You need some better defenses. Real talk. Right now it gets fully paralyzed. I could have stayed in and killed it. That's that's cool. Wasn't worth the risk though. So one aerial ace is gonna take care of this machop. And we're probably gonna have some magma dudes to battle inside of Meteor Falls, so we should probably make sure my shit's healed up before I do that. Yoda lay hee hoo. Cool. Alright. Thanks for the experience, hiker. We shall continue this way. Now I'm gonna go ahead. Use another super potion on Cornelius. Cornelius, you spoiled asshole. Using all my damn super potions. It's alright, I love you. It's okay, we've arrived in Meteor Falls, and this place looks awesome. So we can go up over this way where there's a Pokeball. It's just a full heal, so that's actually kind of handy. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we got in here. I think there was, used to be Lunatone and Soul Rock in this place. But there's also Zubats, of course. There's always gonna be Zubats. If it's a cave, expect the Zubats. I'm just gonna go ahead and spark this thing. Just because, why not? Kill that Zubat real quick, get a little bit of experience, and move on along. <laughs> so I'm gonna wheelie down these here stairs, go across this bridge, and oh, would you look who it is! It's the professor guy. Give it up, you bozos! Let the professor go! Huh? What have we here? Why has this child suddenly appeared? There's two childs, children. <laughs> We've got to save Professor Cosmo from these people. There are two of them, and two of us. Hayden, please, battle together with me. Yes, we're getting a nice little double battle going on. May's gonna be our team, I think. 
Isn't this amusing? Is it really your intention to oppose me? A Team Magma admin? Just the two of you? Hmm. Very well then. I'll show you how terrifying adults can be. I'm gonna give you some very thorough coaching. Oh, really? This will be my first time battling beside you, Hayden? I've got to do my best. Alright, so we are gonna battle with each other. Awesome. Nice little epic double battle going on right next to the waterfall. I'm loving the scenery. They did a really good job of renovating this place. Pretty sweet. So we got a big fat dude. Really skinny girl. Cool. Coughing and Mighty Anna. So the one of them has two Pokemon. <coughs> one of them just has one, so. May is going to use her Whalmer. Nice, nice. And the Mighty Anna is going to intimidate both of us. So that is a damn bummer. Hmm. Since I'm intimidated, honestly, it's probably not worth it to stay in. I'm going to switch into... I'm just going to switch into Steven. Here we go, Steven. Steven has just decent damage on, like, everything, so... It's always worth it. It's going to go for the Snarl. Avoided the attack. Hell yeah. Or wait, never mind. Wait, what the fuck was that? Who avoided the attack? Did I avoid the attack? I didn't see. I think I did. Hell yeah. Water Pulse is going to hit both of them. Get some decent damage. Oh, never mind. What the hell? Why would I... Why doesn't Water Pulse hit both of them? Totally should. But luckily the coffin got confused and holy shit, it just goes boom. What the fuck? Okay, I see how you roll. It's going to hurt everybody. Almost kills the Whalmer. Does like nothing to me in the Mighty Anna, so that's cool. Very nice. All right. All right, Mighty Anna. Prepare to get Brave Birded to death. This is definitely probably... This is definitely going to kill it. I do not see this Mighty Anna living this Brave Bird. All right. So, your big dog was defeated, and there's no match for my birdie. Got a buttload of experience. Steven grows to level 27. Wants to learn Quick Guard. Negative. Sorry, Swellow, not today. So we got one more Pokemon left, and then we're just going to be able to double-team this motherfucker. So, it's going to be a Numel. And that is perfect, because this Whalmer is going to be able to destroy it. And I'm just going to go for a Steel Wing on it. Bam. I, haven't ju I just haven't used Steel Wing in like forever, and I figured this Whirlpool probably... Okay, what the hell? I'm definitely not going to kill it. What the fuck? Now he's going to go for Lava Plume. That is awesome. Where did you get a Numa with Lava Plume, bro? Holy shit. Totally forgot the Numa was just Fire Type, too. Whatever. Well, I got burned as hell. The Whalmer's dead. Oh, God. And it's not locked in. Oh, sh shit. She's going to send out her Shroomish. Nice. Nice. Should have just went for the Wing Attack in the first place. I don't know why I Steel Winged. Damn it. But... Nonetheless, Numa is going to die before I get burn damage. At least I think. Yeah, 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 we're, we're looking solid. All right. So, so strong. Huh? Received $3,220. Not too shabby. And something's evolving. Oh my god, finally Cornelius is evolving. Yes. The moment we've all been waiting for. Cornelius is going to turn from a little, little bitch, little kind of chihuahua looking thing into a majestic manectric. <laughs> So oh, hell yeah, we finally got some power. That's what I am talking about. You gonna learn a move too? Nope, okay, fine. Fine, that's fine. Didn't even want you to learn a move. So yeah, take that, motherfuckers. An unexpected development? We did it, Hayden. Yes, we did. You children, I would like you to stay out of my way. Team Magma's scientific pros and the power of the meta meteorites. If we combine them all, yeah, cool. Wah! You lost to the scamp. What a pathetic bunch. You lazy stooges will be the downfall of Team Magma. What? Who's, say, who's saying that? What the hell? Oh, and it's Ar is it Archie? No, yeah, it is Archie. What's going on, bro? See, like, his view. That's pretty cool. Team Magma dudes, or Team, team Aqua dudes coming up. Oh, shit. What's going on, man? Even Team Aqua's making an appearance. The odds do not, do not appear to be in my favor. You there. I'll have the meteorite now. Yes, sir. <laughs> what, what? Come on now. Hand over the meteorite. He's like, nah, I'm gonna fucking jump off this cliff right here right now. Professor. The meteorite is in the palm of my hand. Well, well, well. Adios to each and every one of you. At long last, I'm off to Mount Chimney. Well then. I will probably see you later in Mount Chimney. Archie, we will go after those monsters. We're not letting them get away. Hell yeah, that's right. I'm like, yeah, you're, not a, you're gonna have to get through me first, bitch. Oh, who's this? You got quite a fierce expression on you for such a wee little thing. The name's Archie. I'm the leader of Team Aqua, a group that's working to return the world to a pristine state. 
One that'll be perfect for Pokemon survival. Looks like you were getting into it with Team Magma there. Bless my eyes deceive me. It's not like I'm in a position to argue if that's what you're up to, hey? But I'll tell you this much, so remember. If you next get in the way of Team Aqua, you won't get off so lightly. So steer clear and keep your nose clean, Scamp. I'll imagine I'll be seeing you. Well, alrighty then. Who, who are you calling a scamp, though, motherfucker? Well, that was that was intense. I have no idea what's going on anymore with all these people. Never mind those nuts, Professor. You doing okay? But but they I I only <laughs> looks like he's still pretty out of it. Hayden, never mind what's happened. I've got to get the Professor back to his lab in Fallabor. Okay, Professor, easy now. Easy now, Professor. And we're all gonna walk out as a nice family. <laughs> I kind of wanted to hang out in Meteor Falls for a little longer, though. What the fuck? But, we have arrived back in this dude's house. At least he's safe. We have done our good deed. Ah, Professor. Thank the stars above, Professor. You're back. Ha, ah, thanks to these children, I have somehow returned. Those nuts back there. What do you think they're hoping to do with the Professor's meteorite? From the look of them, they seem kind of... They seem like bad guys, but we've got to both be careful, okay? Though I'm not worried a bit if it's you and hey, your team, hey, cool. But I need to thank you as well. You truly saved me from disaster. I hope you take this TM from as some small form of repayment, and we get TM23 for SmackDown. Thanks, guy. Wow, thanks, Professor. What are you going to do next, Hayden? I'm thinking of checking out the next gym on my list. It's the one in Marville City. Why don't you come with me, Hayden, to Marville? Do I want to go with her for, to Marville? Right on, let's hit the road. Am I just gonna like transport to Mauville now? Is that okay, cool. So now we're out of that place. We've arrived in Mauville. Up here is Mount Chimney, huh? That's the place those nuts those nut jobs that follow where we're talking about going to. Be careful, Hayden. It might get dangerous around here. Oh really? Well, um that's cool. I don't know why why did you She brought me back to Mauville, so How the hell do I get to Mount Chimney from Mauville. It seemed like it would have been easier to stay where I was, but apparently that's not the case. Okay, so... We did a little bit of backtracking, now we're back in Mauville. Let's see here. So, on this here map, on the bottom screen, it shows that... Uh, let's, go ahead, let's go ahead and open this baby up. Holy shit, I haven't even done this yet. So, places, if we go over this way, 18... Where the hell... Mount Pyre is that way. If we go up, where does this, where does it, where the hell? Lava Ridge Town is over that way. We're looking for Mount, we're looking for Mount Mofucking Chimney, dude. Fiery Path, Jagged Pass. Mount Chimney's that way. So if we just keep going north, we should arrive. We gotta take that, uh, okay, so now we're probably gonna be able to take that cable car. That's what it is. Okay. That's why we got brought back down here. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. So let's continue wheeling up this way like a boss. This guy's got some pristine wheeling skills. So we have my Meryl smash that rock. Do you find a soft stand every time you break these rocks? That's that's cool. All right, so we continue this way. Battled all these people already. Don't mind me. Just coming through again. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Gonna wheel you up your stairs. And alright, so they are gone. Now we're able to go up this way. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, well hello there. The cable car is ready to depart. Would you like to board it? Hell yeah I would! Please step this way. Alright, sounds good. I cannot wait to see how this is gonna look. Holy shit. Oh yeah! Check me out, just cruising up the cable car. Oh yeah, we're going to the top of this bitch. That's what I'm talking about. So. We have arrived, apparently. Thank you for using the cable car. Hey, no welcome. Thanks for the lift. So, that was cool. Now we're at, now we're at Mount Chimney. And it looks like, oh, there is some battles going on. Hey, stop the fighting. Oh, shit. I almost got fucked up right there. Jesus. <laughs> if they expand the land, there'll be fewer habitats for water Pokemon. So the, the Team Magma's trying to expand the land, Team Aqua's trying to expand the water. Jesus. So there's the cable car thing, that's cool. 
We're gonna go up this way, see what's going on up here. Just some more battles, apparently. I'm gonna hop on the old bicycle. Can't go through there. Oh, oh god. Almost got hurt again. Almost got fucked up by some Marianas. Why do these people only have Marianas? You guys are stupid. Get out of my blasted way, ye scurvy Team Magma name. <laughs> Her face, you kill have it. Well then, okay, I'm gonna not fuck with those guys. We're gonna go up over this way, where there's a Team Magma guy waiting for us. We have Team Magma working hard for everyone's sake. Like, if there's more land, there'd be more places to live. Everyone would be happy. Hey, totally makes sense, but, I mean, we... I, I, IGN did say that there's too much water in this place, so technically, there is too much. There is too much water, we could use a little more land. <laughs> Alright, so Cornelius here is going to, uh, going to be able to... Oh, my new and improved Manectric, looking sweet as hell. I'm gonna be able to go ahead and just spark the fuck out of this thing. That is an easy one-hit kill. Not too bad at all. Next is a coughing. We're just gonna stay in. We're on a roll right now. This Manectric is badass. Hit this thing with a spark. And it's almost a 2-hit KO, but not, not quite. Sludge is gonna do a decent amount and doesn't get the poison. That's what I'm talking about. I need the TM for Thunderbolt. Where the hell do you get that? Do you, I think you get that from Watson at some point. I'm pretty sure. Not, I don't know exactly though. So at least one more spark is gonna take care of this coffee. See you later, you weird disco ball thingy. And alright. Defeated the Team Magma Grunt. Huh? What do you mean I lost? I mean that I killed your Pokemon before you killed all mine. That's that's kind of what it means. So, we'll go over this way, and what are you doing, Maxi? Wait, that's not Maxi, never mind. This is just that, like, admin guy. It's you! You're the one who tried to interrupt me, Tabitha, and mean your faults. Do you intend on getting in my way once more? Yes, I do. I was literally just talking to these guys, like, like a couple minutes ago. What the fuck are you doing? Really? An obnoxious child, aren't you? Ah, I will crush you, so that you never get in my way again. Well, I might have to get in your way a couple more times just to make you do that again. That was pretty funny. Alright, so Tabitha over here has got a coughing. Why wouldn't this admin guy have anything interesting? It's like, what, what sets you apart from the rest of the guys, man? Seriously. Alright, so this coughing here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Matang just so I can have them psychic moves against this guy. So I don't wanna fuck around with hitting this punching bag that just absorbs physical attacks. I'm gonna go for the clear smog, ain't gonna work. I'm gonna go for the confusion, <clears throat> just cause it's a special attack. And why the hell not? It's gonna be a nice little two hit KO, and he's gonna go for the assurance. Ouch. That hurts, you asshole. How did you, how did she just, I just saw a hand. Coughing definitely doesn't have any hands. You're weird, coughing. You're weird. But all right, we're gonna grow to level 25. That's what I'm talking about, Matang. Next is Enumal. We are just going to go ahead and stay in, even though this thing is going to hit me with some pretty strong fire attacks right now. I don't even give a shit. I'm going to zen headbutt this thing. It's level 24. Oh, and it avoided it, and it's going to go for an amnesia. Okay, go ahead and raise your special defense. I'm not even going to hit you with any special attacks. I'm going to hit you with a zen headbutt. It would be nice if you could just not hit me. Oh, I got the flinch. Yes. <laughs> Perfect timing for a flinch there. As now this next in headbutt is going to take out the Numal. And that is a very great success. Good job, Matang. Yet again? Yes, yet again. I knew you'd be strong. What a shame, though. The meteorite we got from the professor. Whoever is already in our boss's hands. Where's the boss, you ask? Ah, yes, yes. Right this way. Oh, I do hope that you can be shown Team Magma's true power. Oh, shit. We about to be shown Team Magma's true power. Oh, God. What's happening, brother? Oh god, I have a feeling it's about to get real intense. If we merge the explosives, if we merge the ex explosive energy contained within the planet's core with the meteorite's power, what the hell are you talking about, nerd? I remember those eyes and the indomitable. Okay, cool. Now I recall, you're the one who defied us at Slate Port's Oceanic Museum, and your presence here tells me that you have defeated Tabitha. Yes. I see now that the stirring of interest I felt was not misplaced. Hmm, you show true promise. Fine. I will attempt to educate you. Thousands of years ago, there lived a most powerful being that was said to be capable of creating new lands on the planet. The power which we team in Team Magma seek. This power 
which we can expand the available landmass, belongs to a legendary and super ancient Pokemon. But now it slumbers, having lost the source of its power and been trapped in a deep sleep. So what is it that we must do to awaken the slumbering giant? Our research has led us here to Mount Chimney. Yes, here, to this very meteorite. If we create the right conditions, we should find ourselves able to alter this meteorite's qualities. Yes, even into a megastone. What? Even into a keystone? And here, at Mount Chimney, I should not say too much, that is the end of today's lesson. Now then, I believe it is time we begin. The time for the purge has come. I do believe that I made myself quite clear when we were last in Slayport. I warned you that any fool standing in our way would be met without mercy. I will bury you by my own hand. I hope you appreciate this honor. Oh shit, we about to battle Maxi. It is about to get crazy. So, Magma Leader Maxi over here has a Mightyena. He's just gonna toss it out on Nonchalant. So that's cool. What's going on, Mightyena? This is this is a little bit scary. Should I be should I be afraid of this thing? It's gonna hit me with an Intimidates. That's a bummer. You know what? I'm gonna switch into Pinhead on that note. Get an Intimidate on yo bitch ass. See how you like it, Mightyena. So you're gonna be afraid of my little butterfly guy? That's hilarious. You a pussy. And you're gonna hit me with a swagger. Okay, so I'm gonna be confused, but my attack's gonna be raised two times, so that's cool. You know what, do I have a berry that gets rid of... That gets rid of, um... Confusion? Do I? Do I? Ross, or prison berry? Recover, recover from confusion on its own in battle? Use it! Hell yes! Pinhead, that's what I'm talking about, so... Now I'm no longer gonna be confused, and... Oh, it's gonna roar me out! What the hell? That is not chill. That is not chill. Well, you brought out Steven. That is completely fine by me, because I'm going to hit your ass with an Aerial Ace. And that's probably going to do a decent amount of damage. Alright, very nice. Now it's going to hit me with a Snarl. Oh no. But it lowers my special attack. That is completely fine. Now one Brave Bird should do the trick. Yes. Very nice. And your dog has fainted. Alright. That is a good night to the Mightyena. Steven is looking solid. Pinhead grew to level 29. Look at that. Holy god. Next is a camera upt. Oh shit, this guy's got a camera upt. Well, that's pretty cool. I might as well just send in Pinhead then. See if we can uh see if we can do it this time, Pinhead. I have not seen a camera upt yet, and I'm gonna be surprised if this thing mega evolves. That would be sweet. Maxi might actually have the ability to mega evolve shit. I'm gonna go for the bubble beam. Okay, he's not gonna mega evolve it. Damn it, come on. <laughs> But the Bubble Beam is going to kill it in one hit with a critical hit. That is awesome. So Maxi was defeated. Oh, never mind. Fuck, he still has another Pokemon. What the hell am I thinking? Sorry. Yeah, he has a Golbat. Kind of counts as like half a Pokemon though, because Golbats are just... Golbats are just awful. So Cornelius is going to be able to uh, hit this thing with a nice and powerful Spark. That's going to do a buttload of damage. I'm gonna quite kill it as it's gonna hit me with a swift. Don't be throwing your stars at me. Who do you think you are, Golbat? Fucking throwing stars and shit. So, one more spark is gonna take care of the overgrown bat. Alright. So Cornelius grows to level 27. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Magma Leader Maxi was defeated. Look at that. Oh my god, that was hilarious. He was like, all fucking surprise. You are quite capable. I fell behind. But only by an inch. What do you mean only by an inch? I had a fuckload of Pokemon left. I, I just owned you. You're garbage. Oh, so you repulsed the great Maxi in battle. Haha, <laughs> you never failed to entertain me. This time, permit me to unleash my full strength. Once you've tasted my Pokemon's mega evolved power, you will say goodbye to your last shred of hope. What? Am I gonna battle him again? Uh, uh, okay, wait. Yes, it's me. Huh? Then it is Mount Pyre. I understand. I will come at once. Okay, he's on the phone or something. I'm sorry to cut our battle short, but I'm afraid I must excuse myself. Such rudeness demands reparation. Take this meteorite with my apologies. You may do with it what you like. So we got the meteorite back. Look at that. Hell yeah. Mission pretty much complete. And we're not again forget, forget the face of the trainer who managed to thwart me in battle. Alright. So, that worked out according to plan. Not too bad. Oh, and of course these guys are going to show up. What's going on, huh? It ain't that little scamp. But blast that Maxi. He just escaped us. 
he just left he just left behind a meteorite that he's been crazy about finding. Yeah, he gave it to me, motherfucker. Did you find out where the real orbs are hidden? Oh god, that sneaky little scientific so-and-so. I'm always left watching his bony backside run two steps ahead of me. It's funny how Archie's like the badass one. Maxie's like the nerdy one. <laughs> so, wow, that was that was this was this was an eventful episode. Holy shit. Well guys, I'm gonna end this here. Next time we're gonna head down and we're probably going to uh we're going to arrive in a new town, so I'll see you later.